Now, because of the heat, the city of Gaithersburg canceled its annual Labor Day parade scheduled for tomorrow, but the National Symphony Orchestra decided to continue with its concert on the U.S. Capitol grounds. That's where we find our Rafael Sanchez Cruz for us tonight. So, Rafael, kind of walk us through the turnout this evening. Yeah, Larry, well, an hour before the concert had even started, there were already hundreds of people gathered here on the west lawn of the U.S. Capitol. It was 7 o'clock, and it was 90 degrees. Although tonight's event went as planned, other organizers are deciding to not take any risks and avoid any type of heat-related emergency. For 85 years, the Labor Day Parade has become the way Gaithersburg celebrates the unofficial end of summer. But just hours before the scheduled event, the city decided to cancel the celebration to ensure the safety of the participants and attendees. A city spokesperson telling WUSA 9 in a statement, we consider the air temperature as well as the asphalt temperature, which is expected to be exceedingly higher than the air temperature, and felt that it was in the best interest of everyone to cancel this year's parade. It seems a little overly cautious to me, but but I can, you know, I can see the, the logic behind the decision. Rebecca Luxford says that after 10 years of not attending, she was planning to watch this year's parade. However, she says she can recall having her own heat scare when she participated in the parade in high school. The first year I passed out in the staging area up near the junior high. Um, and so I didn't make the parade. Yeah. <laughs> so that was kind of a bummer. Was it because it was hot? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was very hot. The cities of Kensington and Greenbelt are continuing with their Labor Day parades as planned. In the district, Mayor Muriel Bowser has activated a heat weather emergency through Thursday. Right now, I'm just thinking, I'm glad I put on sunscreen and I can't wait to take a shower tonight. Newman Joseph, who recruits volunteers for the D.C. Tutoring and Mentoring Initiative, says tabling is going to be a struggle for the next couple of days. I actually have two water bottles that I was just drinking. It's over with. And I'm actually thinking of getting some ice cream over there at that truck just right after. DC has added additional cooling centers and cooling buses will be deployed throughout the district. But it's not all bad news. DC's Department of Parks and Recreation has decided to maintain Hearst and Oxen Run pools open past Labor Day. Now, local jurisdictions are reminding residents that if you need to find a place to cool down, you call 311. DC even offers free transportation to get to those centers. Now, if you're experiencing a heat emergency or your neighbor is, you got to call 911 immediately. I think it goes without saying, Larry, we got to check up on our neighbors as we deal with this extreme weather. I'm live on Capitol Hill, Rafael Sanchez Cruz. Back to you. All right, some good advice there, Rafi. Thank you so much.